this. I bought at the same time I bought those other city color um, eyeshadows. This is the Intense Shine. And really I just bought this to play with some really bright colors. Um, bright shimmery colors. I'm going to keep this for now. It's probably going to end up getting passed along eventually, but I'm going to keep it for now. Alright, this is a Little Rock palette I bought on Hoot Look, I believe. And what's the name of this one? This is one of their Afterglow palettes. Palettes I legit cannot open with one hand. Anyway, quality kind of sucks on these. I wanted to like it. I don't like it. Lorac should warn you when they put them in this little crap that the formula is not as good. So, bye bye. This is a little like free gift thing I got. Um, well, not free gift, like a 500 point perk that I used. Um, I haven't even tried this out, but keeping that for now. This is the NYX Avant Pop Palette. This was a Christmas present from the Hubster, and this is in Nouveau Chic. And this is gorgeous and super blendable, and these are awesome. It's a really, really good palette, or at least this one is good. I, don't, I can't speak for the other ones. All right, this is the Pantone Universe um, Marsala Palette. I don't reach for this one enough, and the quality is pretty good in it. I just forget about it, but even if I don't continue to use it, I'll probably keep it as a collector's item because I have a problem. I hate this mirror packaging. It looks like crap. All right, this is the Take Me to Brazil palette. This is a really great palette. If you if you like the idea of like the Vice, um, not the Vice, the Urban Decay like Electrics palette, the quality is pretty good. It's not like the best ever, but it's pretty good and it does a nice job of offering like those really super bright shades and I think I'm going to hang on to this just because this is the only really bright eyeshadow palette that I own and I actually like this one okay so when I decide I want to get crazy for you guys to do some funky stuff this is what I grab for so all right this is a Too Faced palette from Christmas time this one Focus, please. Um, this one came in like the little house, the Too Faced, I mean the Too Faced exclusive, the Ulta exclusive. Um, keeping this one because collector. Again, because I have a collector's item problem. This is the Too Faced Everything Nice. And this has the blushes, the bronzer, the highlight, and then the eyeshadows. These are really nice eyeshadows, but I just, I don't reach for this. This is so bulky and I forget about it, but it's cute and I'm a collector. I don't think that really is a good excuse to keep things, but I'm making it my excuse. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So this Sephora Ombre Obsessions. I bought this at the same time I bought that other thing. And if I was doing a products I regret buying video, this would be it because this palette is really pretty looking, but I, don't know, I just have a really hard time with it, and I don't know. I wanted to love it. It's really pretty, but I don't know. It just doesn't really do it for me, so it's going in the get rid of pile in some capacity. Okay. This is from e.l.f. Another e.l.f. thing. This is like a palette and this has like blushes and bronzers on the top part and then um, eyeshadows on the bottom. And this is a really cool concept. Um, I want to keep this for my brand review for you guys so you can get, so I can give you like the most well-rounded review possible. There I am. Um, so I'm going to hang on to this for now, but after that I'm probably going to just pass it along just because I don't, I don't need it. I'm getting cluttered. Ah, okay. And the last thing in this one, this is the Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill palette. I really like this palette a lot. I know you can't get it anymore. Um, I think it's totally dupable and everybody tried to dupe it. So um, I'm sure there's some great videos out there. But this is a really nice warm palette. And I'm hanging on to it. Now we're going to go through these. These are such great little organizers for that. Um, so I'm realizing and remembering that I have this Medita Loca palette and it has lots of bright colors in it. So I'm actually, because this is much, much higher quality, 
I'm gonna keep this and get rid of Take Me to Brazil. Okay, so anyway, so this is the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca. This is a really nice palette if I wanna like, I don't like the way that the packaging is formatted, like the slide out thing, but um, gorgeous quality. If you like bright shadows, um, this was a nice little item, but I don't think you get that anymore. All right, this is um, newer to me. This is the In the Balm of Your Hand. This was their little holiday thing this year. And it's got some of their different products, some of their blushes, some of their eyeshadows, and then some lip products over here. Again, Emily and Willie 3 raved about this, and I wanted to love it, but I don't know, I don't get inspired when I play with it, so I need to just play with it more um, and give it at least a chance before I say no. Here are, well, some of my Z palettes. This one is um, just some of my shadows. I kind of separated them out into like a palette that I love. Let me show you that first. All right, so this is a Shea Moisture palette. I'm actually thinking about like um, covering it with some pretty paper that I got and making it look all shiny because um, I hate the way that this packaging looks. But this is like my um, like my palette of things that I love and these are my favorites of my like single pan eyeshadows like this if you guys want to see what some of these are you want to know or you want me to do a review or whatever slid down okay um, if you guys want to see what's in here I'm happy to show you let me know in the comments if you want to see that video but there's these are my singles makeup geek etc um, and then here's the rest of them that I didn't include, and then this is an empty Z palette for now. This one, you guys know what this is. This is the Avada Bot Holy Grail palette, and I won't shut my friggin' mouth about it. So obviously, you know, I'm keeping it, because I love it. It is beautiful. I'm making way too much noise behind you. Hold on. All right, now I can give you my undivided attention. Anyway, this is the Violet Boss Holy Grail. You've seen it, did a full review, did swatches, did a look. We'll do some more looks if you want to see it. Gorgeous warm tone palette. I will link all those fun videos for you down below. This is my jam. All right, next up we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bons palette. This one, also a really great one. You can create some great looks, just like the classic chocolate bar. Smells amazing, is amazing. It's just awesome. All right, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is the self-made palette. This one I got in my lucky bag from Beautylish um, unbagging, boxing thing or whatever. Um, this was in there. And because I didn't necessarily pick it out and pay full price for it myself, um, I like keeping it. I mean, this pink champagne, I'm sure everybody talks about it. This pink champagne gives me life. I love this shade. It is amazing. And I wouldn't trade that for anything. In terms of like cohesive looks in this palette, I feel like it's kind of lacking, but this is the only Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that I own. So if you guys have a recommendation of a pre-made palette or some singles that you love, I would love to know those down in the comments. This is mm. another great one. This is the um, the Exotic Lotus palette from Velvet 59, and I love this one. This is really nice. I don't know why I feel compelled to show these all to you. It's taking forever, I know. Anyway, there's what it looks like. This shade sucks, and this shade sucks, let's be honest. But the rest of these are awesome. This one is the another Makeup Revolution palette. This one is stripped and bare. And I think this is supposed to be a dupe for one of the Too Faced, like the sexy something or other. Sexy eyes, or I don't know. Some Too Faced palette, but anyway. So it's, it's nice. I haven't played with it a lot yet. I need to do a better job of playing with my palettes. Um, and then keeping or passing them on. But I'm going to play with this a bit more. This quad and this quad are my favorite, but there's some really nice shades. I don't necessarily love the way that it's like set up. I don't feel like it's the best setup ever, but I don't know. We shall see. And the other Makeup Revolution palette in here is the uh, Neutrals versus Neutrals. Crap all over here. Neutrals versus Neutrals. That's what this one looks like. I've played with this a few times and it's nice. 
Um, do I love it? I'm not in love with it yet. Um, so we'll see. I need to play some more. All right, this is the Demi Lovato NYC Lovatics palette. And this is a nice palette. It's kind of like Urban Decay dupey type situation. Um, naked One palette dupe. And, you know, I have enough, like, duping naked palette type things. So I am going to pass this one along, but I did want to get it to try it. And I tried it recently. And it is nice. If you're a beginner or you don't have a lot of money to spend on makeup, this is actually pretty good quality. Then these came as a set in a little thing, and the plastic is still over there. It needs to go in the garbage. But this is, was like a pure holiday set. And these um, blend really, really nicely. Um, again, this was kind of one of those situations where I don't love the way that these are laid out. And I don't feel like it's the best in terms of like matching looks. Like this palette doesn't go with this palette at all. And if you, you just you can't really make cohesive looks out of them but the quality of the shadows is really nice um so i don't know what pure cosmetics is doing with their eyeshadows but if all of their shadow quality is as good as what's in these books then anything that you buy from them now will be awesome okay guys last one woohoo all right this and i think i've actually gotten rid of everything i'm gonna get rid of so if you want to see the rest of what's left um then that's what we're going to do. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Foil Color Eyeshadows. Um, it, I mean, there's like a lot of similar colors to Makeup Geek. I'm going to do a full review, I think. Um, especially let me know in the comments below if you want to see it. Where I show you the colors that I have in Makeup Geek that match. And kind of do like a is it a dupe kind of video. So let me know if you want to see that. This is my Lorac Mega Pro 2. Um, I have some qualms with it. You can't get any more anyway. Um, but it is a nice palette, and it has nice quality shadows. Not like the quality and those other things. That other thing's crappy. Um, sorry, just being for real. Alright, this... You've heard me rave about it. I don't shut up about it. I haven't used it in a while. It looks like I barely use it. I used to use it all the time. I have not used it in a while. I need to pick it back up. Put it back in the rotation. This is gorgeous. I always get gorgeous looks. Always. Another gorgeous palette. This is the Monarch palette. This one is like the warm tone one. I really like to pair these two together because um, I feel like this could use a few more, um, a few more like matte shades. Let's see. Because this one is matte. These two are matte. Um, but the rest of these are shimmer and I would love to see just a little more variety. So these paired together is awesome. Or with a few other singles. All right, this one, this one is quickly climbed to Holy Grail status, and I was floored. Um, this is the Carly Bible palette. You guys have heard me talk about it, mentioned it in a monthly favorites. I'm going to try to leave as many of these videos as I can remember to leave that I've talked about the stuff down below, but I'm probably going to forget some. Um, but this palette is really awesome. It does smell like gasoline, though, like straight up gasoline. Like you open this, and it smells like you're sitting at like a gas place which I don't mind but some people might all right Too Faced chocolate bar this is a classic it's gorgeous makes beautiful looks smells like chocolate all right this one is the coveted Manny MUA palette and I love Manny um, great channel great makeup artist but I gotta tell you guys I think this palette is totally dupable. I really do. Um, but I'm going to keep it for a collector's item. Then this is the new Too Faced PB&J palette. Love this. It is gorgeous. Smells really good. Buxom. These are really nice quality shadows. I forget about them. But I got this at Christmas time. Um, and this was like a create your own palette. I don't even know what's in here off the top of my head. But. Um, this is a really nice little palette. I need to like figure out what like the perfect palette looks like for me and get the singles that I would need to create that, but really nice. And the very last one, I can't believe we're done here, is the Tartlet palette. This is the Tartlet 2 though, the Tartlet in Bloom. Gorgeous! Love this one also. A great buy. 
All right, my friends. So let's show you what I kept and what I got rid of. I had to completely remove myself from my little filming area to show you. So this is the box of stuff that I'm getting rid of in some capacity. I did do better than I thought I would actually. Um, and then the rest of this I am keeping for now. Um, although some of this is empty, but that may end up changing, but this is it for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will link the rest of the declare playlist for you guys for your enjoyment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one for um, either eye bases or lipstick. I haven't decided if I'm going to go through eye bases and liquid eyeshadows. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching guys. Love you. Bye.